Hello, hello, what's up boys and girls and welcome back to another video on Screen Trends, your favorite channel for anything to do with celebrities. Where today we're going to be talking about Zoe Lavern and how Zoe is pregnant and is back. If you guys want to learn more and not just about Zoe, but all other stuff with celebrities, if so, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the drama with Zoe and how she returned and is in a lot of controversy. Disclaimer, this video talks about many topics that are not intended for all audiences. In this video, we discuss relationships with underage people, and we discuss that bad things in general. If you're under the age of 13, I would advise you to click off today's video. And if you do not want to be responsible for that, now let, with that out of the way, let's begin. Last year, Zoe Laverne, a 19 year old TikTok star with 19 million followers, was involved in a controversy. Zoe rose to fame on Musical.ly until it was replaced by TikTok, and she has maintained a loyal following for the past four years. Her career has managed to enter a highly publicized and unethical incident in which she was caught kissing a young fan. After a leaked video of her kissing a 13-year-old fan, Levin was vanished from the internet on in early November 2020. Levin apologized, saying that she caught feelings for her 13 year old fan, who goes by the online name of Connor Joyce. A video appeared to show 19 year old Zoe Levin giving her young friend a blowjob shortly after kissing him more leaked. However, since the video was of low quality and much of it was censored, it is hard to tell if the girl in the video was actually Zoe. Some claim that, as with Shane Dawson, People were attempting to inflate the drama. Haters sought to persuade her followers as he was a rapist. He faced similar accusations. Shane Dawson, unlike Zoe, made offensive jokes but never really did something with minors. Some people claimed that Shane Dawson was attempting to inflate drama. Now that you know a bit about Zoe and what Zoe has done, I want to tell you a bit more. But before we continue, make sure you hit the like button since it really does help us. And plus, I really appreciate it. Zoe Levin returned to TikTok and in one of her most recent videos, she says that she doesn't want to fight anyone because she may be pregnant. The host of Drama Alert, Keemstar, posted a TikTok with a message suggesting that 13-year-old Connor Joyce may have knocked up Levin, which is still quite amusing. I shouldn't even admit it, but I think I'm pregnant right now. I may be expecting a child, so right now I'm not trying to fight. Levern said in her video, smiling and overjoyed at the prospect of having a child. Maybe Keemstar is right. Connor Joyce was the last person Zoe has confessed feelings for, and the leaked kissing videos showed them that they have been really close. Now let's go back in time a bit. Levern is also known for regular online bursts which she has done in both private and backup accounts. That's from 2018, and before can still be found on Laverne's public ba backup accounts. And when she went dark in late November, October, due to a mounting criticism, also known as a relationship with Connor, she connected with her followers via private Instagram page. Many of her posts circulating publicly through screenshots and leaked gossip pages. Before she went dark, she continued to, she continued to uh, pursue modeling gigs in addition on her social media career. As Laverne's spotlight grew, as did her opposition, on one 2018 backup page, Laverne documented her frustrations with a hate page. Writing updated the hate page, apologized, she did horrible things, and we all, as all we are human, we all make mistakes. No, this is just me going back, seeing her past actions. The hate page is not her defending her child grooming accusations. Anyways guys, this is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Anyways guys, I really do hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.